up YouTube? It's Keezy and I'm back again with another video just like I promised. So right now John is outside and we are preparing to get ready to leave. As you can tell by the title, which I don't know what I'm going to title this video yet, so hopefully you can tell by the title. Today we are going to a village here in the Philippines that we hung out with yesterday and we are going to be bringing them 50 bag lunches to help support their community, you guys. So just to give you a little backstory, yesterday we went to take some professional photos at a bridge, and in order to get to this bridge, we had to cross through a little community slash village of people to get to the other side, okay? When we got into this village, I was so surprised by what I saw, you guys. This is super, super, super sad. I've never seen anything like this. These people were literally living in huts that were built out of sticks, like teepees. Not even like, like walls on their houses, none of that. No electricity, no running water, nothing. They're sleeping on the ground on like pieces of wood, pieces of bamboo that they have actually made themselves. They have little kids running all around but naked. No clothes on, no shoes, nothing. They're filthy, they're dirty. It, it looks like they literally have just the bare minimum to live life. They, they, I don't even think they have clean water. So we were moved by this experience. We actually stayed there for a couple of hours and we flew our drone around and let the little kids see it and they were excited. We took pictures with some of the locals. We bought some papayas and some other kind of fruit that I don't know what it is. Um, and we just had a good time. We wanted to get to know them and we knew what we wanted to do in the back of our minds. We knew that we wanted to help them and assist them in some kind of way, but we wanted to get to know them first and make sure that they felt comfortable with us being, you know, in their community and stuff. So once we did that, when we left, we immediately went to Walter Mart, which is Walmart here in the Philippines. And we bought tons of freaking groceries. You guys, we were able to pack 50 bags. 25 bags for the kids and 25 bags for the adults and we literally killed it I'm telling you so in each adult bag. There is a water bottle a soda um, a pack of paper plates Plastic cups plastic silverware a bag of rice that could feed four to five people some corned beef which is like some meat that they eat here and um, noodles so that's in each adult bag. So we're hoping that if we give that to each adult in this community, they can at least feed themselves and their family, their spouses, their kids for a day or two. Um, and then in the kids bags, we just wanted to pack something so that they felt like they were getting something too. So we packed in the kids bags, a small bag of chips, either a chocolate milk or a strawberry milk, a water and some candy. So we're gonna hand those out to the little kids that were out there. We saw tons and tons of small children like probably age six and under. So we're gonna hand those out to them. Guys, literally they have nothing. I don't even think that these kids have had a bag of chips before. They don't go to school. There's no way for them to get in and out of their community. The only way that they get clean water is they put jugs of water on top of a, um, a goat and bring it from another city. I don't even know how they get that, how they pay for that. But it's really, really sad. I'm gonna take you guys out there. Sorry for the long intro. I just had to give backstory about what's going on. But I'm waiting for John to get back um, from outside. He's outside walking Piper. And once he gets in here, we're gonna leave. We're gonna pack up the car and head to this community. So I will see you guys when we get there. All right, so we're in the car right now. We're about eight minutes away from the village. I am super excited about this experience. Um, John was outside when I filmed the first part, so is there anything that you want to say about this and how you feel about it? Oh, it just feels good. <clears throat> feels like right to do something like this. We spent a lot of money on ourselves doing touristy fun things, getting good food, when these people have nothing. So it just feels like the right thing to do to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited about this. I hope that it brings a smile to a lot of people's faces today, and I hope that you guys are able to learn something from this video too. And you know, kind of learn to not take life for granted because it could be so much worse. So yeah. we're gonna be there in about eight minutes and I will see you guys when we get there. All right guys, so we're not there yet. I got Piper here with me sitting in the front seat. He's so curious. Um, we actually were driving and we saw someone so we picked him up to give him a ride and he's gonna be the first person to get one of our bags. Um, he has no idea. Uh, he doesn't even speak English or anything like that, but he was literally gonna walk like two miles 
to get back to his house with a big bag of rice on his head so like i could we couldn't just let him walk it's literally 100 degrees outside so we're taking him to his village where we're going since we're all going the same way and then we're going to give him a bag you know and some water and stuff like that so i'll be recording that as soon as we get out of the car we got about another mile to go so i'll see you guys after this mile all right john's going to give him the bag i don't think he knows there we go there we go so john's buying some um fruits and veggies real quick okay so you guys just saw us drop the guy off and give him the first bag and everything um i couldn't really film it because it, it started to get crazy people were starting to come up to the car i think that they know that we're about to pass out bags and stuff like that so we're back at the front of the neighborhood right now and i'm just going to walk around with the camera and show you guys kind of what's going on in this neighborhood and the reason why we picked this village to donate to i just want you guys to see the conditions and really put you in reality of what's going on here in the philippines i know that you guys see all of my beach videos and underwater videos and us doing <clears throat> excuse me us doing nice things but i want you guys to really see like the real reality of here in the philippines and how bad some of these people are living and my heart just like goes out to them because it is horrible and mind you it is over 100 degrees today there's no AC in these houses. These houses don't even have walls. So I'm gonna walk through and just show you guys the living conditions of some of these people in this village. So let's go. Everyone is pretty much down at the river right now because it's so hot. John is actually talking to a guy over here to find out you know, what people's actual needs are here because we don't really want to keep bringing things if we're not actually meeting people's needs, you know? So, um, but I did just wanna show you guys, this is how they're living. This is the reason we picked this village um to help these people out i just my heart breaks at how many children and stuff are living like this and there's no help oh there's piper <laughs> piper had ran away to go play with some dogs but he's back um there's no help for them here there's no government assistance there's it's nothing like the u.s so there's really like nothing for people to get help and i just want to bring awareness to this and show people what's really going on out here so this is roland right here um he's about to show us his house he said that he would give us a tour of his house he's been living here his entire life he's 45 years old and he said that their most immediate needs is a lot of rice and they love coffee so right now guys what they're talking about is uh all of these blocks are going to be donated to africa for a church so this is his house you guys we're gonna go inside we have to take our shoes off guys that's respectful we're inside Roland's house right now. Oh, look, look, John. Oh. He's got like a bow and arrow. Oh, we could keep this? Oh, that is so nice. Wow, wow he's giving us this. Oh, thank you very much. Wow, thank you, thank you. You lived in this house your whole life. Two houses. Two houses. Oh, you've had two houses. Uh-huh. One house. One house there. One house here. One house here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna look at is the kitchen. This is where he cooks, you guys. Outside, too. So you have a wife, yeah. children, four children, four children, and you sleep. Everybody lives here. Where are your children? They're selling. Oh, okay. Selling potato. Oh, good. Uh, what? Potato. Okay. Is it? Uh, that's how you get your money. When they go out to sell? Yeah. Wow, how do you get food? If you sell it, you want to buy rice. Uh, oh, okay. No, no. Hi. Pardon? Oh, look, guys, there's little chicks in there. Little tiny chicks. Okay, he's going to show us what kind of rice we should bring next time we come. This is the kind of rice that they oh, eat. Oh, that's the coffee. Oh, this is the coffee. Like. Okay. Granule, that's an instant coffee. Okay, so this is the coffee that they really, really like. Sugar. And sugar, and refined sugar. sugar. Okay. Okay. And then the rice. Rice. Name, any rice. Okay. Okay, so any rice. They can use any rice. Great. Do you need any clothes or shoes? It's up to you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's nice. And I can really keep this? No. My goodness. You, you, you made this? Wow. Wow. All right, you guys, so I actually unplugged my mic. I'm having some issues with my mic, so if it's a little bit windy, that's why, but I wanted to make sure that 
um, we could hear everything that's going on and that the mic isn't giving us issues. We had to make a pit stop. John's playing with the kids real quick. <laughs> oh, all right, we made it back to the car finally. John's getting out his wallet and we have a huge change jar, jar that we've been collecting change and he's gonna give him half of it. So he's giving him money right now. We are back in the car right now. We almost had an incident. I thought Piper locked us out of the car because he was jumping on the lock button and my side of the car locked, but John's didn't, so we got in. Um, but that was so amazing. That yeah. was so freaking cool. It's humbling. Too. Yeah, like I can't believe that he actually like took us on a tour inside of his house and we really got to know him and he told us, you know, what some of their needs are here and there's 128 people in this entire community, but we're on one side of the bridge. The other side of the bridge is where the rest of the people are. So right now we're just going to focus on one community because, you know, we can't save the world and everything, but we're going to get to know people here and we're going to keep coming back and make sure that we bring stuff every time and just get to know the people so we can figure out what they need, what the kids need, what the teenagers need, what the adults need, what the mothers need, and just help out the best way that we can. So we're going to keep going down the line, see if we can meet some other people. And then when we get to the end, we're going to pass out the bags. So make sure you guys stay all the way until the end because you don't want to miss that part. And I just thought it was amazing. hes They're all happy here, but you saw the inside of the house and it's just a, you know, basically a bamboo hut. And they've really made it livable. They can cook over a wood stove is what they have. And, you know, he was just very accommodating for us. So it's just humbling. It makes you really think about your own life and how much you have, I have, compared to how much they have. And it just grips your heart uh, to not have to not want to help them. Right. So we we really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, we just got out of the car. We stopped up here. Um, Roland told us that no one's home here, but he said that we could video if we wanted to. Just still, you know, to give you ideas of what's going on. You know, I don't want anyone to think that we're exaggerating or we're making things up. You know, to make it seem worse than it actually is, but. This is how they're living. This this is their houses. This is where they live day to day. There's tons and tons and tons of kids in this neighborhood. Um, they don't get educations because there's no way for them to get out of here to have education. So it's just all around a sad situation, you guys. We're pretty much done um, walking around and showing things and showing you guys pretty much why we're here. So the next thing that we're going to do is pull up into this little parking spot in front of these houses and we're going to pass out the bag. So I'm going to roll the clip right here. <laughs> Alright, so John's getting everything out and people are lining up. They're waiting. Say hey everybody! Hey! He's going to hand out the, the small bags for the kids first. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff is going fast. Word spreads around pretty quick. People are rushing from the neighborhood. So we're trying to keep some order in here so that everybody gets something. Say hello. <laughs> All right, y'all. So as you can see, that went amazing. Everybody rushed up to the car and got things. Oh my gosh. Like I feel so good. I, I'm, I'm just super happy. Like all the kids got stuff and they're running around now eating their bags of candy. We're actually heading down to the bridge that we went to yesterday um, to get the pictures done. And we're going down there to fly the drone a little bit and to just hang out more with Roland. Well, here's some billy goats right here, you guys. Roland was just telling us that they grow these goats and then they slaughter them to have something to eat. They don't have many right now. They only have four and they're too young to eat them. So that's pretty much how they get their meat. I wanted to show you guys, this is a banana tree here. This is where they get some of their fruits. Um, they have to climb up there and actually pull the bananas down. And as you can tell, they're way smaller than the U.S. because we actually put a lot of stuff in our bananas to make them humongous. But these are natural bananas on a natural banana tree. I think that's awesome. Right now we're on this cable bridge. Um, there's water underneath us. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's kids playing down there. Um, we're walking across, getting ready to go down underneath to where the river is. Hi! <laughs> the kids see us recording. Um, 
so yeah we're going to the river so that john can fly his drone and i'm super nervous about this bridge oh my gosh i'm so scared but i'll make it we made it across that bridge we walked all the way down there all the way over here we crossed this small little river there's a little bit of water going through here my my shoes got super wet um but we crossed over i wanted to show you guys this bull so we took some pictures with this bull i'm gonna be putting them on my instagram but he's actually on a leash and they ride this bull to other villages to get their food and fresh water and stuff like that so he's like used to people i was still nervous you know to be around him but he's used to people and he wasn't being like violent or anything but john is about to fly the drone so we're gonna get some good footage the next footage you guys are gonna see is the drone footage so let's get into it Hey everybody, we gotta go up this trail. It doesn't look as steep on camera as it is in real life. There's Roland up there waiting on us. He's carrying the drone. Nice guy. How to go? Made it. All right, y'all, so we made it back to the car. I apologize if the lighting is not good. It's super sunny. I got this right here trying to block the sun. Um, but we made it back, well, I made it back to the car. John is still out there talking to people. I was super hot, so I jumped in the car with the AC, and I got this huge bottle of water right here that I'm drinking. Um, so I just wanna say that today has been like a life-changing experience. I hope that you guys actually were able to learn something from this video as well, and hopefully you guys actually take this in your heart and find it in your heart to give back in some way to your community or other communities around you so that you could just make a difference in people's lives. Um, I don't know if I've said this during the video or not, but to feed 50 people, we only spent $50, you guys. So if anybody ever wants to help the Philippines, let me know and I can send you guys my Cash App or my PayPal. Even $1 buys something substantial over here. Like literally one US dollar is 55 Philippine pesos. And you could buy all types of stuff with $1. So. Um, I'm not asking people to donate. I'm just saying if you have it in your heart and you want to give back to this community, just let me know and we'll work something out. But if not, do something in your community. Do something in a community that's near you. If you're in the position to do so, give back because it's really a heartwarming feeling and it, it's just what Christ would want us to do. And we're made in Jesus' image and we're made in God's image. So everyone should go out and just try to make a difference in the world, you guys. So, unfortunately, that brings us to the end of the video. Like I said, I hope you guys learned something from this video and you take something away from this video. So, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. Follow me on all platforms. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Find me everywhere. I'm going to drop the um, names in the description so that you guys can just click on them and follow me there. And if you've been here since the beginning, you know what I say at the end of every video. So say it with me, guys. Stay up, stay safe, and stay subscribed. Peace out until next time.